Hello again everybody and welcome to another tutorial. Uh, for this tutorial we're going to be uh, applying an iPod touch theme to your iPod video. As you can tell by the picture here it looks pretty cool. New icons uh, gives it the I iPod touch feel to your um, three-year-old iPod video. So the first thing I want to remind you is if you have the fifth generation known as the 5G iPod video you must use the 5G uh, firmware. If you have the updated iPod video known as the 5.5G uh, iPod, then you must use the 5.5G firmware. I must stress that. If you use the wrong firmware, your iPod will go into a boot loop. And um, if you have that problem, um, there's a link on a website here that I can um, up, try and add to my uh, video description in case you do get into trouble like that but it's assured here that this will not brick your iPod it's just a, a theme update and it looks pretty cool so I'm pretty sure a lot of people out there with video iPods would like a new look to their uh, Apple uh, videos iPod videos okay so it's uh, it's very easy eight easy steps the first thing you have to do besides making sure you use the correct firmware is your main menu must only have five options on the main start screen. So that means you can only you should only be able to see music, photos, videos, extras, and settings. Those should be the only five selections on your main menu of your video iPod. So, step one, as soon as I can find it here. Step one is plug in your iPod to your computer. And we will do that like so. Make sure iPod I'm sorry, make sure iTunes and any other iPod software is not running. So I have gone ahead and I downloaded iPod Wizard, which will write the firmware to your iPod, and I downloaded Touch Hack version 2.0 for 5G, because I own a 5G iPod video. So what you do is create a folder, I called it iPod Wizard, unzip iPod wizard files into the folder as you can see here and I threw in the touch hack version 2.0 folder in the iPod wizard folder I created so we have the wizard files and the touch hack 2.05 G folder with the uh, binary uh, firmware file in there as well now for me I have to run iPod wizard as an administrator or it will not access the um, hard drive of my uh, iPod. So I simply right click, run as administrator, allow, and here we have the window iPod wizard version 1.3. This is the latest version. So what you do is pull the drop down menu and select firmware file. So click open firmware and then go into the touch hack version 2.0 folder and you'll see a bin file. That is your firmware file. Now it's going to be loading all the pictures and icons. Doesn't take very long. The next step is very simple. Click right to iPod. And then it's going to ask you if you're sure. And then it's just a short little wait. Successfully written. Close it all up. Uh, remove the um, iPod from your computer and it's going to go into reboot mode and after that you should see your new screen hope you enjoyed the tutorial uh, stay tuned for more. You can uh, hopefully, hopefully you found this video on my iTunes um, YouTube channel. You can also find this on my 
website, salstavern.blogspot.com. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section of the YouTube video. Uh, thanks for watching. Thank you.